<clears throat> hey, what is up, guys? Teacher Keith here. Uh, this is my first installment in the ongoing series of exploring Catholicism. Uh, in today's short lesson, we are talking about St. Peter. Uh, so without further ado, uh, let's get to this groundbreaking material. Here we have uh, St. Peter was one of the 12 apostles of Jesus Christ and one of the first leaders of the early Christian church. He appears repeatedly and prominently in all four New Testament Gospels as well as the Acts of the Apostles. Catholic or Orthodox tradition accredits Peter as the first bishop of Rome or Pope and also as the first bishop of Antioch. Okay, according to Christian tradition, uh, Peter was crucified in Rome under Emperor Nero, Nero. The ancient Christian churches all venerate Peter as a major saint and as the founder of the Church of Antioch and the Church of Rome. But they differ in their attitudes regarding the, the authority of his successors. According to Catholic teaching, Jesus promised Peter a special position in the church. In the New Testament, the name Simon Peter is found 19 times. He is the brother of St. Andrew, and both were fishermen. Okay. The Gospel of Mark, in particular, was traditionally thought to show the influence of Peter's preaching and eyewitness memories. He is also mentioned under either the name uh, Peter of Cephas in Paul's first letter to the Corinthians and to the epistle uh, and the epistle to the Galatians. The New Testament also includes two general epistles, uh, 1 Peter and 2 Peter, that are traditionally attributed to him, but modern scholarship generally rejects the Petrine authorship of both. Nevertheless, evangelicals and Catholics have always affirmed Peter's authorship. And recently, a growing number of scholars have revived the claim of Petrine uh, authorship of these apostles. All right, so there you have it. That is my first installment in the, in the ongoing series of uh, Catholicism. Uh, that was about St. Peter. Uh, so do me a favor, like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.